Right, hello there everyone, welcome back to James Redman TV and can you tell that I've just literally woken up from my deep, deep sleep of... Actually, but I, I thought I had a dream that we won a game last night, turns out that was actually real life and we actually were able to go out there and get a win and a clean sheet, which I didn't mention once in my match reaction, which is out now on the channel by the way. If you enjoyed these videos guys, please do smash a like, if you don't like them, smash a dislike and let me know in the comments down below why you don't like them. I don't think you're going to like this one, so... Feel free to smash the dislike button. Um, FSG. Uh, increasingly likely that FSG are going to go with the option of minority investors opposed to outright ownership. And this is news that's been coming out from reliable journalists all day. And I've got a bit of a fucking issue with some of these reliable journalists because I don't dispute that they're great at their job. And I don't dispute that, you know, they give me stuff to talk about and other content creators... Um, and this whole saga of the FSG thing has been very, very interesting. And when the news first came out, of course, you see the headline, Liverpool are going to be sold and whatnot. And you're thinking, wow, Qatari owners. And then what happens next and the events that unfold is not an, of the case. In fact, half an hour after the news came out back in November or October, FSG come out 10 minutes later saying this exact same thing. And then... Couple days later, couple weeks later, couple months later. It's just done one big 360 spin and we're back to where we was anyway. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Um, but the news is, is that FSG are not looking to sell the club outright, but are much preferred for a minority shareholder, which... Listen, guys, it's not a bad thing. More minority shareholders is not a bad thing, but it's just not news. It's stuff that has been the case for years on years on years, three seasons ago, FSG were talking about minority investors and there was rumours about minority investors. I don't give a fuck about minority investors. So, even though I'd be open to getting more people investing into the club, because that's the main thing, a lot of Liverpool fans, I might not be included in this because I don't forget the Super League. I don't forget the ticket prices and I don't forget the trademarking of Liverpool and I don't forget these things. And I also understand... When you keep letting people like this get away with stuff like that, people who have shown they don't give a fuck about the full culture of the football club, they will continue to try and get away with it as long as it maximises their pockets. And that's why I don't want FSG. But a lot of people look at FSG and think, wow, they've ran the cl club brilliantly. They've won us a league and a, a Champions League, even though it was Jürgen Klopp. Um, and, and they've done really, really well. So in their eyes... FSG getting minority investors must be nothing but a good thing. And that's why these certain Liverpool fans should start getting used to top four or start getting used to top six. Because again, even if we get Bellingham and Nunes, just think about the next transfer window and the next transfer window and the one after that where Newcastle are going to improve, City, United. All these teams are going to continue to make reinforcements while we sit back and, and wait, essentially. And we do need to make signings now because we've got two transfer windows that we need to make up for after we won the league and the Champions League. And when I say make up for it, I mean the squad depth that we could have been building at that time. That could have been a perfect opportunity to go and buy some random right winger. In fact, we did. We got Jay and Shaqiri and it never worked out. But then, you know the example, you know, a few young players here and there, try them out if they don't work, let them go and then reinvest again. But instead, we've let players like Oxlade, Naby Keita just run down the contracts and not be able to sell them and we're in a position where we are now. So, yeah, guys, here's the, here's the news in a summary. So... Minority investors are preferred by FSG. We're not likely to get new owners. Could this be a tactical ploy, I suppose? Are FSG just saying this so someone will bid more money for Liverpool and try and buy them outright? I suppose that's a possibility, but I also feel like it's very unnecessary and I don't think FSG need to do that. And if FSG did do that, I don't think it adds any amount of significant zeros to where it's worth coming out in public and emphasising that you want minority shareholders. So the pretty much conclusion is that we're unlikely to really change anytime soon. And what's going to be the case is that we've still got the same owners who are going to be linked FC and we're interested in this player and we're interested in this one. We just have to wait and see if we get any of them over the line. And what I believe will happen, I, this is the way I see it unfolding, FSG will stay, Jude Bellingham won't join, and it'll be some random midfielder that we probably haven't even been linked to yet. It's crazy to me, but that just seems to be 
the way Liverpool work, you do not know what they're doing. They move in silence, and by they, I mean FSG. By they, I mean Jürgen Klopp. They do not let their news out in the public. So even if this news is bollocks, it is according to James Pearce, so I doubt it, but is it, let's say this news is bollocks, and someone does come in and buys the club, which could still happen. Listen, mate, I'm sure if a Qatari got on the phone tomorrow and said, hey, yo, FSG, hey, bro, you want the, the baseball? Don't give a fuck, bro. I want to buy your football club. Six billion. Now, no one would offer six billion, but something along those lines, and I think FSG would sell the club. So even though James Pierce has came out and said FSG aren't looking for new owners, doesn't mean that we're not going to get new owners. But it also doesn't increase the chances of us getting new owners. So this is a proper mad situation because there's so many twists and turns, but then you kind of think about it and there's not really. We're just back where we was. And we're just fuming because we're losing games. And it feels like a different time because when this news first came out, it was the start of the season. It's only got worse since then. And now it's turning out they're going to stay. It's so interesting the way these owners work. And they're only three wins in the Premier League away from being good owners again. Or uh, let's say we win the FA Cup. Uh, we won the FA Cup, another trophy. FSG are good. If we get top four, FSG are good. If we get you, Bellingham and Mateus Nunes, FSG are good. But maybe I'm wrong. Let me know what you all think in the comments down below. And um, yeah, I, I suppose FSG in is the, is the movement. Wow. Anyway, guys, please do smash a like on this video and leave a cheeky subscribe if you enjoy the content. But of course, if you don't enjoy it, then fair enough. Um, if you watched the Big Six Extra yesterday... The show's booming. You'll know that it's only getting better and better and better. So I'd love it if the people from the James Redman TV YouTube channel could go and subscribe to the Big Six Extra YouTube channel. Um, as you can see, goosed. Therefore, I'm going to end this video. I'm going to say ta-da to you. You know what I mean? Give you a little wave goodbye and all that. But I'm going to give you a quick update on the Malaga career mode. Now, for those who don't know, I am a, a Spanish manager. I've actually forgot my own name, but I'm a Spanish manager for Malaga. Now, the news is, guys, we're four seasons in. We actually never ended up fulfilling promotion. We actually failed in the playoffs two occasions in a row. And for some reason, the second season, they sacked, well, uh, the second playoff season, they sacked me. So Malaga is no longer the club anymore. But in fact, it is Real Oviedo. Do you know that team that Spencer FC used to do it? Uh, football and career modes with that that'll be one way for you to know the team uh, but they offered me a job when I got sacked took the job happily and everything is going swimmingly and I will be back with another update soon on the Malaga career modes anyway guys thank you for watching I'll see you all later peace